Hello, I'm Brett Knowles from PM2 Consulting. This brief vignette provides an overview of performance indicators. More importantly, I'm trying to show how they're abundantly surrounding us day to day and we don't give it a second thought. And the reason I feel a need to do this is often when we help organizations with their dashboards and bounce scorecards, we receive considerable pushback when we suggest they could be using performance indicators instead of performance measures. Here are some examples of indicator articles I recently picked up. Recently, Nicolas Sarkozy, the president of France, suggested they should move away from cold hard statistics like GDP formulas and towards things like happy indicators to better indicate how France is performing the world economy, using things like work-life balance, recycling, or even levels of traffic congestion. I read a different article where it suggested that a particular silver oxide chemical should be used as an overall economic indicator. It turns out that this particular chemical is used in white paint, which is used for lines on roads, and also white paint in houses. And they've determined that there's about a six-month lead of growth of this particular raw material and the overall growth of paint, which in turn leads actual building growth by a couple of months. Great leading indicator. There was recently an article in the Washington Post which talks about how men's white underpants could be used as an indicator of the economy. Their argument is that that's a particular staple that people tend to cut back on during difficult times, and as times loosen up, so do sales of briefs increase. We recently saw an article about California, which indicated that if we took a look at the pricing for U-Haul truck rentals, it would indicate how the economy is doing in California. You see, in this particular example, it costs more to rent a truck to leave California than to move into California. And the logic there is because the economy was doing poorly, there is a dearth of trucks leaving California, therefore the price point goes up. And they're trying to encourage people to move to California so they can get the trucks there to charge a premium to get out. Therefore, it's a lower cost for trucks going into California. And finally, we often heard about indexes, the Starbucks index, where we're taking a look at the price of coffee relative to the cost of living in a country to give you an overall index of economic wellness. Now, we're not pretending that any one of these is the right indicator, merely that indicators are abundantly around us available all the time, and we use them in our day-to-day -day lives frequently. We should be applying the same logic when we use performance indicators inside our organizations. If you'd like to learn more about this or other concepts around scorecards and dashboards, please join us at pm2consulting.com.